I should be moving. That's me over here. This is my daughter, Wrigley. I just thought I'd introduce myself. My name is Rob Clifton. I am a CEO of Avid Mobile Partners with Halo Pays. You know, we work with thousands of churches in North America. Um, we do merchant processing for them and a lot of other uh, a lot of other things. We at Avid Mobile, we've worked with lots of churches over the years and have a lot of great insight into what they do and how they do it. So let's jump in and talk just a little bit about some data real quick. What's really interesting is there's, you know, 152 million people in North America that, that utilize Facebook. That's a, that's a lot of people. But there's far, far greater people that utilize text messaging on a daily basis and all over North America. The average person looks at their phone 150 times a day. You know, I was looking at, uh, I was reading an article the other day about the anxiety that people have if they don't have their phone. I actually get very annoyed with the fact that people look at their phone uh, when I'm having a conversation with them. I get annoyed with myself when I'm sitting there uh, doing something, talking to my daughter or something, and I look at my phone and it doesn't even have a text message or it doesn't even have anything on it. That's how much we're tied to this technology device. And it's crazy. But as part of what we can do, we can start utilizing that tool as a way to be able to communicate with our congregation better throughout the week because of a couple specific reasons. One, you know, a lot of people use email. Um, I don't see a lot of churches using it really great, but uh, they still use it. But the thing is about emails, very low open rates, very low click-through rates to your blog or the information that you're trying to send out there. Facebook we know that when we put a Facebook message out there, it doesn't even show up in a lot of people's feeds. If we're posting from our Facebook uh, fan page, our business page, you know, we're, we're not getting very many people to click through it at all. And the engagement there is not very high. However, we can drive some Facebook behavior, which is really awesome. We do it through SMS, through text messaging. It's the most widely used communication tool. Almost every single person in North America sends text messages almost on a daily basis. When you look at when you send a text message out that is 98 or 99% open rates and read rates on that text message, that means they read what you send. When you talk about click-through rates, that means they click a link inside the text message and go to your blog or to your mobile site or to some additional information or a video. The much, much higher click-through rates. The people represent how many people actually click through and read something. You can see if you put a Facebook message out there, only 12% of the people read it. And only a third of a person, or one out of 300, actually click through and read something when you post something on Facebook. It's crazy numbers how much better SMS can be. A lot of people push apps. This is not an app solution. We call this the unapp sometimes. 80% of apps go completely unused. What this is, is not just, and of course we're not just talking about text messaging, although a lot of the fo focus is on how to text message your congregation. We're talking about how to use SMS and other uh, media like social media, like email, to be able to grow your congregation and improve communications, improve donations, um, improve traffic to your website. And if you don't have a website, we can help you there as well uh, with the same solution. It's all embedded in one thing. So um, just a little more information. We are an international mobile communication provider. We work with thousands of different kinds of businesses and thousands of churches. We work with them on their mobile sites and donations, text messaging, growth strategies, because this is a lot about how to grow your congregation, and of course, how to get social, how to get more people uh, to engage with you socially. It's not just about building a group socially. It's not just about having a lot of people that like you or a lot of people that uh, are on your Facebook page. It's about actually getting them to have a conversation with you, because when they post something and tag you in it, or they post something on your page, then all of their friends see it. And that's what we're trying to accomplish today. There's a combination of things here that's our focus. One is outreach. We're really trying to help you share your message with the world and grow your congregation. Another piece of it is in reach, how to have better communication with your current members. Another piece of it is stewardship, how to take better care of your resources. We're actually going to show you how to save money and raise more money on a monthly basis. And of course, whatever you're trying to accomplish today, the best way to be able to do it is through building databases and then reaching out to those databases and communicating your message and getting them to participate, getting more engagement, getting more donations. So let's talk about how it works, like the first step of how it works. Well, building a database is extremely easy, although a lot of churches have a really hard time with it. 
Just imagine every single person walking into your congregation on Sunday or on Saturday or Wednesday. As soon as they walk in, instead of handing them a paper brochure that has the schedule of events, you have somebody standing there with a tablet. And all they do, every single person that walks in, types their mobile number in that tablet and hits the button, Submit and Send Program. And instantly, those people receive a text message on their phone. And they click that link inside that text message. So there's the text message they receive. It says, your church name. You know, thank you for attending today. Click here. And when they click there, it takes them right to your mobile website app that has your list of services and who's doing what. They can even donate from that site. Um, you know, you can uh, make your mobile website, your landing page where... You've got your all of it's it's a virtual brochure that you're handing to every single person that walks in. Now I want everybody to try this right now. So there's two ways to be able to try it. One is I'm going to put this URL into the chat, and you can click this. So if you go up to the chat, which is right next to the phone icon at the top, and you click this link and open it up in a new tab, you can type your mobile number in the tablet, and just type your mobile number right there and hit submit and you'll get a text message and you can see what it would look like on your phone. You can also hit new text message on your phone and type in the phone number 63975. Viewer 11, just type, click that link and type your own mobile number in there. Um, you can also hit new text message on your mobile phone and type in the phone number 63975. That's a short code. And in the message, just type halo. And when you do, you'll get back the exact same response. So if you click this link, you'll go to a new tab and it'll look like this. And here, you just type your mobile number in. When you type your mobile number in here, hit Submit and Send Program, that's exactly like what someone does when they're walking in your church. And the difference here is about reach and accessibility. Today, we have so many churches that we consult with and talk to that work really, really hard on trying to push their app. They spend a lot of money on an app, they put an app out there, and then out of the you know 500 people in their congregation, they see they've got 75 app downloads. I was talking to a pastor last week and sitting down with him in his church, and he says to me, yeah, we've got an app. And he goes, you know, we've got, he actually has about 2,000 people that are members. And he goes, out of those 2,000 members, um, you know, we've got about 500 app downloads. He goes, but the funny thing is, so that's about one-fourth of his congregation, right? One out of four people. But he says the funny thing is, is that out of those 500 people, he goes, I know like eight of them are app downloads just from my, because it counts every app download. So those are app downloads just from my house. You know, that's my, you know, my daughters and my son and my wife and my, you know, my mother. Um, you know, he says, and then if somebody loses their phone and they app, download their app again, that's them. So it's probably less than one in four people. The beauty of this technology is in the reach of it. Literally, every single person that walks in your church, types their mobile number in, instantly gets that text message with the information, so you don't have to hand them a program. Automatically, we've reduced the, uh, uh, the, the paper and ink that we have to spend money on, because we can take, if we're printing out 200 flyers on a, on a weekly basis to hand to people, instead now, we can print 25 for just the people that really don't have a phone. And, that's, and, and you can even lower it later than that. You, you don't need to even print any paper pretty soon. They type their mobile number in. They get that information in a text message. Now they're clicking today's program, and they're looking at the information about today's program right on their phone. And it, you can have all the information about your announcements. You can have all the information about um, your upcoming events. You can put videos on it. You can put your blogs on it. You can put your prayer list on it. You can put music. You can put anything on this app. And now everybody's got it right on their phone. You can also link right to the Bible verses that you're going to be talking about during service. And now people can read it right on their phone. You're actually delivering it right to their phone. So the options are limitless, what you can put on this page. And now, but, the, but when I talk about the reach of it, and I say that almost every single person in your congregation types their mobile number in, Instantly, you have a database of those people, and they're sitting there in your database. So what happens? Now, Sunday, immediately after service, you send a text message to everybody that just walked out the door, and an hour later, they're watching football games, 
They're out there hanging out with their friends. They check their Facebook right as they're walking out the door. They're doing all of these other things. Immediately when they leave your service, you're out of their minds. And a lot of times, the, you know, the spirit is leaving them. They're no longer participating. They're no longer thinking about it. This is your opportunity to be able to re-engage them. Well, imagine sending them a text message right as they walk out the door that says, you know, what did you think of today's sermon? Ask a question, post a picture, or make a comment right here. And when they click that link, right on their phone, every single person that was in your church gets this text message right as they leave. When they click that link, it takes them right to your Facebook page. Now they ask you a question. Now all of their friends see that question that they asked, and you can respond back to them. They post a picture uh, of their family eating, you know, Sunday dinner together. They ask, uh, um, you know, they ask a question. They make a comment about service. And now, all of a sudden, you've actually got activity on your Facebook page, activity that other people see, and a viral element is created. On Tuesday, you send out a message that says, uh, and, and I see pastors all the time, they will have their, uh, you know, their wife or their husband or whoever take a quick video of them with their iPhone, and they upload that video to YouTube, copy the link, and send out the text message uh, to all of their congregation. You know, this is Pastor John. Watch this video about what we should be thinking about going into this week. When everybody clicks that link, instantly they're watching the video that you just recorded on, you know, on Tuesday night at 8 o'clock at night. They're sharing it with their family. You're taking your ministry outside the walls of the congregation. You're putting it right in the hands of all of your congregation and keeping them engaged throughout the week. You send them a message on Saturday. Tomorrow's service starts at 10 a.m. Here's the program and notes. Here's what to read in preparation. If you can't attend, you can still tithe. And when they click that link, they don't. They can't come on Sunday. They've got sports. Their daughter has a, sport, a, a softball tournament. They're out of town. Yet they still tithe because they still click through and tithe because they know they're supposed to, and you're instructing them to do so. You're delivering that right to them. The thing about that is we know when that text message is sent out on Saturday night, this is not just a reminder to attend but it's a reminder to attend that is read by 99% of your entire congregation. Everybody sees that. And they click the link, and they're looking at what you told them. Uh, other things that you can do with it. You send out a message that says, you know, this week we need to read more, study, and grow your connection. Read, uh, read this. And this is your, you know, your link right to a page on your mobile website where you've uh, posted a blog where you've you know, posted some things that they need to be reading about. Um, sending out a message that somebody just went to the hospital and they need our prayers. Um, you know, that this is your prayer hotline. Um, sending out a message about your special events to everybody in your congregation, that you know, your youth group is, is doing something, and invite other people to come. See the agenda, click here. And everybody clicks that link, sees the agenda, and now you have more attendance on your Friday night event or your Wednesday night prayer service. There's so many things that you can deliver right to everybody's phones. And it's, it, it, all of this will help increase your participation, increase your engagement, bring more attendance, have more donations, all of those kinds of things. You can put calendars on your mobile sites. You can put, um, uh, like I said, just anything that you can possibly think of. Let's talk about outreach for a minute because this is where we really get excited Right now, we're standing with our existing congregation. A lot of us are really trying to build that congregation. Imagine, after a week of sending a couple text messages to your congregation, maybe them watching a couple videos, now imagine you're standing there in front of them on Sunday, your whole congregation, and you tell them, hey, I know you have been, uh, you've been seeing the text message I've been sending you. Hopefully, you've been watching the videos. How's everybody like that? You know, uh, when you leave today, I'm going to send you another text message that asks you to um, you know, ask me a question. And I want you guys all to ask me a question or tell me your thoughts about today's service. Make sure and click the link following service and say something. And now all of a sudden, when you send that text message out that says click here and, you know, right on our Facebook page, now all of a sudden you've got a, a ton of engagement because you've instructed people to do so and you've sent it right to their phone. So now we're growing virally. But this is where it's really big. We tell our congregation, so this week, I want you all to pray about who in your family, who, out of your friends, who is it that needs to hear what we are doing here? Who is it that you think needs to be participating? Who might need some help? 
Well, it, I know it's hard for you as a congregation to go out and just talk to them, but you don't have to. I'm going to do it for you. I want you to pray about it all week. And on Saturday, I'm going to send a text message out to you that's going to be just a quick video from me personally inviting your friends and your family to come and visit us on Sunday. And when I send you that text message, all I want you to do is forward it to the five people that you've prayed about that you think needs to hear what we have going on. And if we've got 250 people here in our congregation today, and if we take and all 250 people forward that message out to five people, we're going to reach over a thousand people in our community on Saturday with a personal invitation. And when you forward that text message out to them and they click the link and watch the video, they can click and go right to our contact page. And on that contact page, it has, um, you know, on that contact page, it has the directions right to our church and it has the service times on it and it they can call us and ask a question if they want to and we're by you by all of us here taking that message forwarding it out to all of those people we're going to reach thousands of the community what if just we get two new families that walk in the door on sunday that would be great for us that's a start that's a start to growth and that's what this is about it's about using the lowest common denominator of technology, a simple text message, the way that we communicate with our friends and family. And then as a ministry, leveraging that tool and getting our, our, our uh, congregation to leverage that tool to help start reaching out in the community and growing that. And there's all kinds of different things that you can say. We might run a program once every three weeks where we're really doing that outreach program and asking people to forward it out and invite new people to come. And when they forward that message out, all the people that get that message from uh, your congregation, they click the link and they watch your video or they watch your, um, or they, you know, listen to a little bit of a sermon or they, um, you know, just see your personal invitation to them. And now you have more people coming in. There's another thing that a lot of churches do, and this isn't on this slide, but I'm just going to talk about it for a second. Again, going back to the congregation I met with last week, it's a fairly, fairly big church, but they said, you know, we do, we really try hard that when a new visitor comes in, well, somebody that's not a member, we really try to do a good job to shake hands with them and talk to them and find out who they are. And, invite, and, and make sure they had a good time and invite them to come back, you know, Wednesday and invite them to come back Sunday. Well, one of the things that you can do is have a different tablet set up that when you have a visitor come in, they come in and type their mobile number in that other tablet. That would be the, the people that we know aren't regular members. That way that we can send them different messages more, uh, we can take and start building a database of what we call potential members. And then we can send them different types of text messages over the course of the coming months and encourage them to come in, remind them about special events, and kind of, uh, uh, kind of finesse our messages a little bit to, um, you know, to bringing in uh, to getting them to come back time and time again and getting them the information they need about being a new member, right, and being a part of the community. When you send a message to a 1,000 potential members, which is possible because your congregation's forwarding it out, because other people are forwarding out, uh, because new members are coming in and you're building databases of those people, statistically 99% of the people read that message. What if just 2% of those interested came in that would be 20 new families. Imagine if you could do that on a monthly basis, how many more donations you would get, how much greater your ministry would be, how much you would grow. Now, there's a lot of other things that you can do with this technology. In fact, you can build different databases. So you can have a database of all your clergy or all your deacons or your women's group or your youth groups plus your full congregation. Imagine your youth ministry leader being able to send out special text messages to the youth throughout the week to keep them engaged to keep their minds focused. You know, we know today that people are spending over 21 minutes a day on Facebook. Are they spending that much time with your congregation? Are they spending that much time reading uh, the information you're putting out there or reading um, <clears throat> the scriptures, the Bible? Well, they're probably not. 
But with this technology, you can start sending them messages, sending them things to read right on their phone. And then you're literally taking time away from Facebook and the world and the worldly things that they're involved with, and you're getting them to re-engage with you. And you can send those to any groups you want, special tailored messages. There's also ways that you can use this tool with all of the other things that you might be doing to reach out into the community. You know, some people take out newspaper ads. Some people put up booths at the, at the fair where people walk by and, you know, they talk about their church and they hand them a pamphlet. Um, some people put up signs or outdoor displays. And uh, many churches do these kinds of things because they want to reach out into the community. Well, imagine as people are walking by your booth or they see your newspaper ad. Instead of just handing them uh, a flyer, what if you had them just type their mobile number in a tablet and you, sa and you said, hey, we want to send some information home with you about our church, but we don't want to hand you paper that you know, is just going to get thrown away later. Um, we're actually going to just send it to your phone. That way it's a little video you can watch about what the inside of our church is really like, um, about what our ministry is really like. We're just going to send the video home with you. Just type your mobile number in the tablet. And then the person here at the desk has somebody type their mobile number in the tablet. Every person that walks by have them type their mobile number in the tablet. What do we end up with after that event? We end up with a database of 500 people from that three-day event that are potential members, that have families. And now you can continue to text message them once every couple weeks and invite them in. Tell them about the event you're having. And out of those 500 people, you're going to get some of them to come in and try out your church. Because they stopped by and they were interested. And because you didn't just hand them a pamphlet and they just walked away, but you actually gathered information. You gathered a database. And now you can start communicating with that database in the future. Very, very powerful tool in growing your congregation. Same thing with print pieces. You're doing print or outdoor displays. You know, you want to see our service times and more about our church. You want to watch a video about what the inside of our church is really like. Text MIRACLE to 72727. Instantly, when they text MIRACLE, they get a video to their phone. They're in your database. You know out of that print ad or that outdoor display that you did, you know how many people text in on a daily basis. You can start gathering those phone numbers, and you can actually pick up the phone and call them and personally invite them in over the telephone. There's more that we can do with this channel than any other type of communication out there at all. When we talk about stewardship, we talk about the conservation of our resources. I was talking to a church leader who has a congregation of like uh, 200 people and another 50 youth, so about 250. This morning, actually, we were emailing back and forth, and he says, we don't have any budget for this. And I said, yeah, that's fine. I said, but come to the, you know, come to the educational webinar and learn a little bit about it. Because the thing is about it, this is an opportunity to save money, and it's an opportunity to grow the amount of donations that you get on a monthly basis. Because the reality is, out of the, if you have a congregation of 250 people, you only have 160 that attend each week. Where are those other 40 people? Where are those other 40 families? They're certainly not donating when they're not there. But when we send them a message on Sunday morning and say, make sure you still tithe, click here, and they can donate right from their mobile phone, even if they're not in service. If they are in service, they can donate from their phone. But even if they're not in service, they're somewhere else at a sporting event, on vacation, they can still click the link on their phone and donate right now. And many will because they're tied to your congregation. They believe in your ministry because you're sending them a little video that says to do so. Those donations, those extra donations, will more than pay for the service. You send that message out on Sunday morning at 8.15. They click the link. They're right on your mobile site. They click donate, and they go right to your donation page that's mobile friendly, and they put in their credit card information, set up recurring. Um, they can pay by e-check or whatever, depending on who you're with, if you're with Blue Fire. Um, but we can link to whoever you're using for merchant processing. A lot of times we call this the fifth Sunday, right? The fifth Sunday means that w with this tool, you've got almost 100% of your congregation in a database. Now, once a month, you send them a text message asking for one additional donation. Simple. 
hey, we're trying to raise an extra 3500 this month for our mission trip. If you can, donate an extra 20 50 or $100. Click here. And all of a sudden, you get extra donations. Just one extra donation a month, more than pays for this service. But, but you'll get many extra donations just by making that one additional request. Maybe it's because you're trying to build a new church. Maybe it's because you're trying to um, you know, build a playground for the kids. Maybe it's because there's a mission trip or whatever coming up. Whatever it is, everybody has a need. And sending out that one extra donation request will get you additional donations. Sending it out on the 15th of the month after a lot of people just got paid. Of course, you can also get donations at events and things like that uh, for admissions, raffles, anything else. And there's a lot of things that we can do to help with that. How is this? How does this help reduce spending? Well, the average congregation prints about 750 brochures, programs, the flyers that you hand out to everybody on a on a weekly basis as they're walking into into church. Just the average con congregation spending 35 cents a piece, just 35 cents a piece, is spending a thousand dollars a month on their paper and ink. But you can have just as beautiful of a brochure, but instead send it right to their mobile phone. And the investment on a monthly basis is going to be typically about a third of what you're spending on print. So you're going to be saving maybe hundreds of dollars a month, depending on the size of your congregation. By making that one extra text donate, uh, request for a donation, even if you just get 50 extra donations a month, times $100 is $5,000 in additional donations. The money you save in your first month will more than pay for the use of this service. There's lots of, this service starts for less than a dollar a day. For this special limited time program we're running here, there's no setup fee. You get a free mobile website app. You get, um, so you get your free mobile website. We'll build it for you with any of the programs. It's an app that actually goes right on people's phones as well. But you deliver it to them right from that kiosk, that tablet landing page, with your uh, people standing right there at the door as everybody's walking in the door. You get an online portal where you can view your text messages and view how many people are in your database. And you can easily send messages to your congregation in minutes and send videos to them and everything else. I can show that to you in just a minute. You can easily edit your mobile, mobile site on a daily basis, easily edit your program. There's nobody in, nobody in your congregation. Uh, the person that's currently doing your flyers, that may be you. You can easily do your flyer on here faster than you can actually doing your print flyers. It's really, really easy, and it's way better. So you can start today for uh, less than a dollar a day, right? But as, in addition to that, and we're waiving the setup fee. That normally, there's a $250 setup fee to build your app, to build your mobile website, to build your kiosk for you. We'll do all of that for you. We're waiving the setup fee completely with this partnership program with Halo Pays, which is really awesome. This is a great opportunity. We're limiting this opportunity for just the next five days. But with that opportunity, you also get the free educational seminars. We've got three seminars coming up that uh, anybody that enrolls in the program gets these bonus educational seminars. But let's see, it's Thursday. I think we're closing um, enrollments for this, including the seminar enrollments by next, I think it's Monday or Wednesday, and I'll have to double check to find that out. But we'll email that out and tell you in the email. With the enrollment, you get these educational webinars. They're going to teach you lots of different things. Many of the things I've referenced, but a lot more tips and tricks. How to get more people sharing your content and videos and sermons with other people. How to grow your membership, doing all of these different things. How to grow the amount of people actually having a conversation with you socially, actually having a conversation with you uh, on, on social media and their friends seeing that. And now you're getting that viral component, all of those things. Gain additional donations. Anybody can enroll right now at this URL. I'm going to post this URL right now into the chat link, and you guys can go right now and enroll your church. And like I said, you will, uh, the, here's the URL right now. So if you guys click that URL right there, it's going to take you to this page. And you can go down to the bottom here, and you just pick which program you want to be involved in, which one's right for your church. Obviously, 
Each one includes X amount of text messages on a monthly basis. So like the Easy Start program is 250 texts a month, three cents per text message above that, which is less than paper and ink, obviously. The middle program here uh, is only $79 per month, and your text message price goes down a penny. So that's if you th it's $20 per thousand text messages, if you look at it that way. Or the mega growth plan is only, one, that's not 15 cents per text, that's 1.5 cents, or basically a penny per text message that you send out to your congregation. You get 2,000 included, and 1.5 cents per text message over that. This program comes with unlimited pages on your mobile website app, no more printing, unlimited databases for your, all your, your church members, for your youth, for everybody else. We'll build your mobile website and app for you, actually with any of these programs, and we'll help you get started quickly. So there's no worries about anything like that. From this page that you can click up in the, I put it up in the chat up here, everybody can click that and go there. Um, you can also email us if you've got a question. You can email me directly at halo at avidmobile.com and I can answer your questions directly. If you want to shoot me an email, we can set up a quick conversation and talk about which plan might be right for you or what are the things that you might need. Now, the application to be able to use this is extremely simple to use. I don't want to overwhelm you by showing you all of the different things you can do, and in my, this is mine, I've got lots of different things. But creating a kiosk is extremely easy. You just type in the information for your church, you, and it builds your tablet landing page, but we're going to do this for you. Modifying your mobile website, and you can go down and pick your mobile site, and well, you'll just have one in here, your mobile site that's got all of your information on it. And when you pick it, it's very easy to edit any of the information on it, and I'll show it to you. So here's the one that you guys were looking at on your phones if you um, texted in or typed your mobile number in that URL. And it is right here. And here's the home page. You can see it up here on the page, and here's all the different page types. And so if I wanted to change the information on this page, all I would do is click, click on it, and then right down here, I can type in whatever information I want. So I just click in here, and I can type in new information. And I could click this button, and I could upload a picture. And I could link that picture to whatever I wanted to. Or I could drop a video in here. And once I've put the information in there, then I just bold it and, and italicize it, or you know change the font size to whatever I want. And then I hit save. And as soon as I hit save, it's live. And now everybody that walks in and types their mobile on their tablet gets the new information. So if I want to go back and I want to update the, the program page, you know, for the service, for today's service, I just go in and click on that page that I want to edit. And again, we'll build all this for you. And so here I want to change, you know, the, uh, what's going on at the nine, at 930 dinner or brunch or whatever it is. It's so easy to add it, and I can bold it, and I can put in additional information and pictures and, and whatever else I want to, and I hit save, it's immediately live. So super easy to edit your, your sites. When you're ready to send a message to your congregation, it's extremely easy. You go right over to the marketing platform. Uh, again, you don't have to push quite as many buttons as I do because I've got a few more accounts. Um, you want to send a message to your congregation? You jump in and go right to a blast which is a blast out to your congregation. And you just type out whatever you want to send to them. Hi, everyone. Uh, don't forget tomorrow's service starts late at 1030. And then you say click here for details. And then you put a link right here to your mobile website. It's so easy. And then you hit save and schedule and pick exactly what time you want to send that message out or send it right this second. So the tool to use it and to send messages out, extremely simple for you. We'll not only train you on it, but we'll actually build it all for you to begin with. I'm going to stay on and answer any questions. And if anybody has, uh, has any, just go ahead and type it in the little box up there in the little chat box. Um, you can also email me directly at halo at avidmobile.com. And of course, click that link and go ahead and enroll. That way you get the free educational webinars and we'll go ahead and get you set up. You can be using it this weekend. We'll have your mobile site built tomorrow. We can build it tomorrow. So thanks everybody. I appreciate you attending. If you're leaving, tell me bye on the way out.
and uh, we'll talk to you soon.